guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's Try It Tuesday. And for those of you who don't know, Tuesday is where we stop kicking the camera. I didn't kick the camera. It was, it's shaking still. It's still shaking. Stop moving it. Tuesday is where we try new things, guys. And if she would stop moving around, she'd stop kicking the camera. Today, we're, well, we've been kind of going around different places as we go look for, for different things. You find commonalities at different grocery stores, Target, Walmart, Kroger, whatever. We've been finding these Tate's baked cookies kind of like all over the place. Um, I don't know. I want to say they're a big deal because a lot of people are purchasing the gluten-free versions of these. We figured we'd get the normal ones. We got... Um, tiny Tate's. I didn't even know those were tiny, but they're... Chocolate chip. We got oatmeal raisin. Coconut crisp cookies. And butter crunch cookies. Then we got the gluten-free version of the chocolate chip. They have other gluten-free ones, but we couldn't find them where we were at. They had more of the regular ones that they had gluten-free, but we've kind of seen these as we were getting, but we didn't think to pick them up when we were shopping until we got all the normal ones. But you can now compare like their normal chocolate chip cookie to their gluten-free. I was getting to that. I know, I just... <sighs> Thank you, person these. offhand. <laughs> I'm just talking. Uh -huh. You could have you had a chance to be in this video, but you didn't want to be in this video. No. Nope. I can't eat them. Yeah, you can't. Well, let's do the chocolate chips first. So we can compare those. Oh, they're like little baby ones. Yeah, we couldn't find the normal thing of those. We just found the little tiny, tiny pack. Normal chocolate chip, which I don't know if this is going to be any different. Oh, looks like little chips all the way. Ooh, I like the crunch on them. Well, they're all like that's our thing signature thin, crispy cookies. Mm -hmm. These are really good. Combining the best of ingredients and a passion for baking. Mm -hmm. Out of Southampton, New York. What? Slow your roll, man. I'm, I'm just trying them. They say uniquely crispy, deeply delicious. And I like the crunch on them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> these are the gluten free version. Oh. They about beat the crap, man. Look at that. <laughs> hey, I didn't do that. Uh -huh. They're good for gluten free. If someone were to hand you that cookie, would you know it was not made with real flour? No. That's good. But I like the other ones better. What, is it like almond flour or something in them? I love it. Rice flour. Hmm. Yeah, I like the, the normal ones have a better, more savory taste. Yeah. <clears throat> You're going to get that with uh, real flour. These are really amazing. One of his favorite. I don't think I've ever had crispy oatmeal raisin. Though. Maybe if I had burnt them before or something, they might have been a little crispy. Oh, these didn't break. Mm -mm. Oatmeal raisin should be gooey, though, mm -hmm. I would think. It's got good flavor though. But you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Like it, that's almost one of those that just should be kind of, kind of gooey. I'd still get these anyway. <laughs> Something different. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Okay, the hot cookie? 
have the two that I've tried so far. I'll do the coconut one first. Yeah. Just in case you don't like them, you have something to follow up with. Mm. Coconut cookies are different. It doesn't give you a whole lot though. No, and these you are kind of. You get two pack. Yeah, you get two packages. And there's only like 15 cookies in each. So 15 cookies total. Yeah. At least there's, I thought there was just one pack in there. There's two. Mm -hmm. But those are good. Kind of buttery. Mm -hmm. Very slight coconut flavor. You're gonna get in carb coma again over there. Just for testing purposes. <laughs> You would really like those. Mm -hmm. They're both good. Yeah, butter. <clears throat> These are butter crunch cookies. Those look the best so far. Yeah, there's like no crumbs at all. A little coffee bits or something in them. This flavor actually said new, so it must be their newest recipe, maybe. These are savory. Savory. Because the butter. I know. They almost taste like a burnt, like a nutty, buttery flavor. Burnt toffee. Mm -hmm. mm. Almost like a caramel flavor. Mm. They're good, but I probably wouldn't get those again because they're too savory. Okay. So out of the normal ones, don't take into account the gluten-free ones. Um, my least favorite. Probably in the order that I tried them. Yeah, fancy that. So your favorite were chocolate chip, mm -hmm. then oatmeal raisin, coconut crisp, and butter crunch. Mm -hmm. Now, if you had to take into account the gluten-free chocolate chip, would that would that rank above some of the other flavors? That's not bad. Mm. That's a good gluten-free cookie then. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have known had someone... Now, if I had to compare the two, you taste the difference, but if you just would hand it to me on the own, I'd be like, well, okay, well, that's a good cookie. Good cookie. Yeah. They all have really good crunch though, <coughs> is what I'll say. Which is my, with the exception of the oatmeal raisin, because you want those soft, I like a crunchy cookie like this. They're all pretty good. But check out your, your local Target, Walmart, Kroger, grocery store. yeah, grocery store, wherever it is that you have them. They are expensive though, guys, so make sure you pick a flavor that you, you actually want to try first. Because so I want to say they're like $4, four or $5 a bag. Four and a half bucks, yeah. yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, guys, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, down below is where you do it. Feel free to share this video as you see fit. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Until then, have a nice day.